Now, other political interest, other political news, you have Mitch McConnell freezing yet again. Now, Mitch McConnell is old as dust. Well, maybe not that old. Well, hmm. most dust bunnies are probably actually younger than him now that I think about it. If you back him to your house every and you find the dust bunnies that accumulate every couple of years behind the old armoire. So actually he might be older than dust in that case. Now, a little background if you're not really big into politics. He is the Senate minority leader on the Republican side, and he's 81 years old. So statistically, he is an outlier as the U.S. average age of uh, deceased for men is usually, I believe, around, what is it? I believe it is 74 or 6 last time I checked. But this is the second time. And there's already the comparisons. He's been compared to a turtle for most of my, most of my life. Everyone kind of compares him to that. Now, he was in front of a podium giving an interview and just kind of stopped. So we'll play that clip really quick now. I'm sorry, I had a hard time hearing you. That's okay. What are your thoughts on running for re-election in 2026? Oh, asking them, they're asking him, what are your thoughts on re running for election in 2026? I don't think he's going to make it to 2026, to be frank. Thoughts about what? Running for re-election. Oh, that's a, that's a, so he said that's a it's a long awkward pregnant pause did you hear so she's he has his aide uh, presumably that's his aide or uh, gal nice gal coming up to him asking you know do you hear a question senator running for re-election in 2026 yes. uh, he did say yes he did hear the question all right i'm sorry you all we're gonna need a minute senator any. Yep. Bring up another aide. Yeah, You're telling him we're going to head outside. Does he acknowledge it? <laughs> he says. He says, "Oh, okay." <clears throat> okay. Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's just. It's sad. I mean, politically speaking, he's done a couple of good things. Unfortunately, I, like many politicians, I don't think he does enough of the good things I would like. But it's just sad seeing someone that they should be enjoying their retirement years on the beach in Florida with their family or something. But he's, I don't know if they're, I can't, it's hard to say if they're just so disgustingly hungry for power or if their family is pushing them to stay in that position or their fellow colleagues. But he's 81 years old. Now, it's also, I would also say it's not as bad as Diane Feinstein. She's 90 years old and looks 150 years old. And I don't know if Diane Feinstein also morally vacuous in terms of wanting to take away guns from hard working Americans while having nice private security detail. She doesn't even know when she's in the office. So she came out of the, out of the, she came out of the government, uh, the, the facility, a couple of, the government building a couple days ago. And Someone asked her, hey, you know, how did you enjoy your three-month, uh, not vacation, but your three-month me three medical leave? And she goes, what do you mean? I was here the whole time. So she's not caught up of where she is. And also, after she voted on a bill, which she shouldn't be able to vote, her, she's not, she doesn't have legal autonomy over her own body. I say that in a second. So like, she came out and she said, did I vote for that? So she, can, she didn't remember she voted on stuff. Now, her daughter has the power of attorney over Diane Feinstein. So Diane Feinstein doesn't have the legal ability to make decisions for herself, but she can make legal decisions for 400 million Americans. That's insane. But she's so corrupt, so hungry for power, they'll never give it up. And you have this, so Diane Feinstein famously is a leftist. She's, she, or now she's not considered radical enough, so they may speculate that's why they're also trying to push her out, the people who do want to push her out. But Diane Feinstein's on the left, so she's um, democratic, she's liberal. Mitch McConnell's on the right. This is a, both parties have this issue where they have some folks that are getting so old and their cognitive abilities are not there. And I'd, part of me feels really bad for them because it's sad. And then another part of me thinks they're either power hungry, the, their political party is hungry for power, they want to give that up, or their family is pushing them into these positions to stay there. But there's gotta be, the issue is if we do have a cognitive test, who writes the test and who's the judge? Because we see the government change the definitions of many things to suit their political needs and to be given themselves a political advantage and put their opposition at a disadvantage. So that's the concern around that idea. 
and when it comes to age, that's all. That's not always a good rule of thumb because Warren Buffett is the best financial investor in history, and he's in his nineties. Now, I'll actually say he's second best. The best stock trader in history is Nancy Pelosi's husband. How does he? It's fascinating how politicians, their family members, make better stock trades than the most brilliant mind in history. The Oracle of Omaha has nothing on her and Pelosi's husband, really. So obviously there's some corruption there. When you write the rules, you could kind of pick the stocks before you choose the laws that will manipulate and help those companies out or hurt them if you're going to shut down the economy for a couple of years. So it'll be interesting to see, but again, Mitch McConnell just froze. And let me know in the comments, do you think he's going to seek re-election in 2026? I mean, this is 2023 and he's struggling. I can't imagine he's going to make it or want or have the desire to run again. He's the cognitive issues are getting worse. And again, there might be some magical new drug that politicians get that we don't. Maybe they'll juice him up tomorrow and he'll be as sharp as a tack. But with all the data I have now, I would speculate he's not going to be running again. But as I always say, time shall tell. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, it's a crazy goal, but trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of September. Greatly appreciate you taking the time to click that button. Also, don't forget to take the time to like and comment. The feedback is greatly appreciated, especially if it's critical as we try to make the show better and better. Also, don't get to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.